Okay, not to sound morbid or anything, but do you ever wonder what people are gonna say about you when you die? <laughs> I think about that sometimes. And I really wanna be known as a person that loved really well, that had like a powerful love, you know? Regardless of the degree that I know somebody, I want them to have said, I felt loved when I was around her. And I also wanna be known as a person that has really powerful faith, like an active faith, a living faith, a powerful faith. And so that's something that I live towards each day. And as part of the inspiration of this image, well, not the morbid part, <laughs> but I'll get into that. So, hey there, my name is Mari Cristante. I am the artist here at Fight Song Studio. I make art to help you inspire yourself daily because I believe that it's inspired people that change the world. And I think it's so strategic to put inspirational art and things around us to help us stay inspired. And I believe that you wanna live your best life and so that's why you're here. Well, today in this deep dive video, we are gonna go behind the scenes into how I create an image and I'm gonna tell you about the little secret messages that I tuck in there. So today we are gonna dive into this print called Moving Mountains. She is one of my most popular prints and so I can't wait to tell you about it and show you the secrets inside. So I just touched the microphone. I hope that didn't leave a big scratch. Sorry about that. I'm new to a microphone. Anyways, let's go into Photoshop. Okay, welcome to Photoshop. You can see here, this is the final image, moving to mount, moving mountains. <laughs> I'll start taking these layers off one by one and you can see all that was added in post-production. This actually has all the, you know, you can see how the dress came together and all the different little pieces. It's just a lot of cutting everything out. You sh I shoot all the different objects on location so I can get the same um, pixel density and the same colors and lighting. And then I um, bring it into Photoshop and edit it all there. And you can see it's just lots and lots of layers. Here's the sky that I added and some of the background. That's actually the image that we started with. You can see my dog running around there. And that was the megaphone that I used. <laughs> and that's how I got the crumbly rock look was just throwing uh, rocks and dust up in the air. So that's where we started and this is where we finished. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that tour through the image. Now let's get into the meat. One of the secret messages that I put inside this thing, because as you can see, it's a very passionate image. It's almost like you can hear her saying, mountain move. You know, we all face, I think we can all relate to this because we all face mountains, some kind of meta metaphorical mountain, whether it's an obstacle, a challenge, a problem, an impossible situation, to whatever size we all face mountains. And sometimes it's like mountain after mountain after mountain. <laughs> we get through one and it's like, bam, another mountain. That's how I feel lately. <laughs> so knowing what I wanna talk about today is knowing what to think and do when you do face a mountain. So Jesus wrote this really great scripture. This is one of my favorite stories. And he says, if you have faith, the size of a mustard seed, you will speak to this mountain and tell it to move and nothing will be impossible for you. You know, he didn't say, he didn't stop it, have faith. He said, do something with it. Faith is a very active, engaging, empowering thing. It's not just a thought or a belief. I mean, it is that, but it's more. You have to pair it with action. He says, you know, he didn't say, you know, just sit there and watch it move. He says, engage, engage your faith. Nothing will be impossible for you. He's telling you how to position yourself in front of a mountain. Doubt never moved a mountain. Fear never moved a mountain. Anxiety didn't move that mountain. But he says, faith can. So let's talk about those two different perspectives. When you face a mountain, if you have faith, you're thinking, mountain, you move. I can do this. I will get through this. This is not an impossible situation. Um, I know that strength will come as I go. I know that support will come as I go. I can get over this. When you, ha when you face your mountain without faith, you're thinking, this big mountain. Other people haven't gotten through it. It's not gonna stay. This won't pass. 
it's not meant to be climbed. You can't do it. Other people haven't done it. You're not enough, or I'm not enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't have ability, strength, or time. I can't do it. It's kind of defeating, right? Faith is empowering. And you need to be empowered to climb a mountain. Now, not every mountain you're meant to climb or meant to get through, but know the ones that you are and and stand at, look at stand there and look at it and believe and speak to the mountain and say move. And then activate your faith. So I hope this has brought you some value today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the mountains that you're facing and how you take them on and not get discouraged, especially at the size of them or the timing of them. Let me know in the comments below if you would like this print. They are available for purchase on my website at fightsongstudio.com. I have them in various sizes there and you can order one today. Thank you so much for being here. It's such a joy to get to share this with you and take you into my process. Um, just let me know if you have any questions, reach out for email, sign up for my newsletter. I send out weekly inspiration and we'll update you with my new artworks. Meanwhile, have an incredible day. Live inspired because it's inspired people that change the world. All right. See you next week.